Hello, welcome to TJ13's Bahrain Grand Prix review. Well, quite a race that, lots of incident. After some initial pessimism, this is shaping up to be a half decent season. Anyway, here's what the experts think. The 2018 Bahrain Grand Prix, what a race. What happened to Verstappen? Beginning to look a little bit like a rookie driver. Driver of the day for me was K-Mac. Because I like a driver who gets his elbows out. K-Mac, he'll F you up. Uh, I thought um, Gasly did well, uh, but he spent a lot of the race on his own. K-Mac was generally in a three-way fight. And P5, after what happened to Haas in Melbourne, epic. What a race for Kevin Magnussen. This time, the wheels did not fall off the hats. Fantastic work. Great team effort. Just looked at the uh, constructor standings. McLaren is third. Didn't expect that, did you? It's got to be um, bittersweet for McLaren. Um, you know, finishing behind a Honda, uh, beaten well uh, by a Honda powered car. But third in the team standings. And Fernando is fourth in the driver's standings. My oh my. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it Ying or is it Yang? One name, Pierre Gasly. Wow. What happened? Fourth place, amazing. I bet McLaren are scratching their heads wondering, should we have ditched Honda after all? You've got to think that actually Ferrari nearly threw it away for Vettel. Um, that was a crazy, crazy strategy. And um, it's only because of Vettel's skill being able to drive more than half the Grand Prix on the option tyre um, that, uh, that Ferrari uh, got P1 today. Should Bottas have got the move done to take Vettel on the last section of the race? Perhaps he should have, but equally, Total Wolf alluded to the fact that Ferrari had cleverly been fuel saving through most of the race, leaving a lot of battery and fuel left for extra engine modes at the end, giving Vettel a better chance of keeping the lead on some really tired tyres, having only one stopped. Hats off to Mercedes actually. They used Lewis, who was clearly not going to be challenging for the win, to try and slow Vettel up. Giving Bottas an actual chance at having a go at him later on in the race nearly worked. Good team playing. Well done Mercedes. 42 overtakes in the first 10 laps. The DRS zone was extended 100 metres this year and clearly uh, Charlie Whiting got it wrong. The FIA really need to look at the way teams are doing pit stops. Teams are trying to shave tents off by making them even faster and faster using the light system. Well clearly it didn't work today with Kimi Raikkonen's stop. The Ferrari mechanic had a horrific leg break live on TV and uh, I think the FIA really need to look into this and try and do something to prevent this happening again. After today, I've decided Kimi is the new Mark Webber. Whenever the team seems to have a major F up, it's always Kimi that suffers. Thanks everyone for watching and remember to let us know what you think. Comment underneath the video. We'll see you next time.